Aaron, you are gonna teach me how to do a world-class push because you like everything world-class. So we're in my favorite rink in the world, okay? This is where Sonia, this is where the woman that was bitter that she was second to her who married the Pearl Baron. This is where Maribel Vincent, if these worlds could talk, these women, do you think they had world-class pushes? Absolutely, nothing but. All right, so I want you to talk about, you were having me balance on the back edge. I want to see all the Hogwarts of it all, as Paul would say, okay? So you have your axis, okay, and you place your foot on your push off. Yep. You're gonna bend your ankle, the knees, I'm just having to start on the left foot because you're over here. Okay. And on this leg, actually, you want to have your hip in and you want to be able to lift your foot and balance on this foot. Lift and balance. Lift also, and you balance. have full leg leg warmers going on right now. Absolutely. That's very leg placid. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they were all handmade, too. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you to Dr. Hannah. Okay, so you're balancing and you're actually wind up putting your weight all the way back on the outside edge. Then you hit the flat of the blade. Okay, you actually hit the flat of the blade and then you push off the inside. There's a weight transfer that actually happens when you don't see it, but it actually happens here. Your weight is back here, okay? And then you push and you're off. Your legs have to your arms crush. Here, you have to keep that weight on the outside edge. Outside edge, outside edge, outside edge. Flat inside edge. So if someone ever asks you, you, you ever hit an inside edge, on an outside eight. The answer is yes. At the push off, you hit an inside edge. But only after you complete the outside edge, then you hit the flat, then you hit the inside edge. Okay. So and we're basically rolling on that push. Yes, you have to sit back on the blade and you have to go on the outside edge to finish this curve. Yep. Finish the curve and then you hit the flat and then you hit the inside edge on that push off. So the weight transfer is critical. And the difference outside eight pushes and the inside eight pushes are very important. Okay. No one talks about this enough. Most people don't. Really. Why are they not talking about it, Karen? You know? Well, they're talking about it now because the world is sport. It's very important. Okay? Of course. So now the outside pushes always make this curve this way. There's a space here. Okay. Who inside. is your favorite push? Oh, I love all push-offs. They're so cool. In fact, I'll show you That's a lie. Push. You There is a skater yeah. that has a favorite push no, that no, you... I really don't. Like, is Shepherd's push okay for you? Like, are you liking it? Like, yeah. what? Okay, so an insides always have a crisscross. Yep. Okay. And then what's really cool is that if you're to take this, okay, and you want to do your back beats, the same thing happens here where the back outside edge follows here, okay? You actually have to force your edge not to have a big flat here when you change, okay? Karen, you have to slow down. You're being way too smart for people. You're free-handing circles. Yeah, You're doing yeah. like, what is... Now, now, look, on the inside eight, back inside eight, you follow the same tracing. Yep. And it extends with these beautiful pushes. Okay, yep. And then the inside eight follows the same tracing. Okay, and it's the same tracing. Yep. And then the inside eight follows the same tracing. Forward outside, right? Yep. I'm gonna go the new circle there. Right forward inside. Da, 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 da. So what's the difference on the push here? So You're never on an outside foot, edge, right? Foot, you never hit an outside edge on an inside edge. That's yes. important. Nothing wrong. In fact, your push is cross. You always hit an inside edge on an inside edge. And I prefer the inside now because it's easier. Well, right? you, so it's okay. You can love the inside, but you're gonna learn to love the outside too. Of course. Of, of course. course. And so here's my inside edge. Da, 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 da. And then I can do my back outside where I look where I follow my foot this. Da 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 making mini circles. Now watch I follow this push, 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 da 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 da. Right? Yep. When did you become this good at figures, Karen? When did it happen? Oh I I just love my figures and my figure lessons. <laughs> I loved all of skating because it's so fascinating. It's so fascinating. You know, you can always learn something new. So fast. Did you work your partners to the bone? <laughs> I love skating pairs too. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Todd, let's do the seventh run through today. You know, I just love skating pairs. <laughs> All right, so I hope everyone had fun learning about their fun. Yes. Skills. All right. Yes. All right.
Karen, so you know I may be a little bit of a neurotic perfectionist to coach, you know? We love that. <laughs> and I may ask a lot of questions. Also, we love that too. <laughs> we love it, yeah. Now, I have been asking people about my posture yes. at the start of the curve, yes. and I know that it's like stemming from the push, yes. but you just showed something, and in the words of Karen Cortland Kelly, this is going to be a game changer. It's a game changer, yes. yes. Okay. So what happens a lot of times is when people go to push, and they fall out of their posture, and they got to come back. And then it just body. makes you feel bad about yourself. You're not feeling like Peggy Fleming. Exactly. It ruins the whole experience. It ruins the whole thing, exactly. So you have to use your spinal stabilizers, and you really have to squeeze your back no one talks about this enough. Okay, so when you're here and I go to push off, I have to go and I have to squeeze my scapula and lift that chest and I feel my back. You actually skate from your back way more than people realize. The front is frosting. The back is where your stability is. The back is where your strength is. Okay, and you have to have your pelvis with you bend the ankles. When you're like walking in a mall, are you just correcting everybody's posture in your head and like coming up with exercises for them? You know, it's very interesting. You can really see where people like what you have are in their, in their posture. Because posture is not talking enough about yes. these days. The other thing is you can't put your chin forward. Like, you have to be able to have the spine in line. You can look out and down a little bit when you're tracing, but it's all about using those spinal cables. Okay? Solid, 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 solid. Right, and you step on a keen edge, clean it out, like oh. and you feel your back. You have to warm this up, calm the nervous system down. A, a, a shaky nervous system is not good for anyone. Karen, I like when you go push and hold. It's oh. very Bella Caroli. Yes. It's very like <laughs> stacks. You gotta squeeze your core. Yes. You have to take this leg and pull it to your belly button. And everything has to come in narrow to the belly button. We have to squeeze everything in into this like narrow pathway. That's when you really use your core well you're squeezing everything into your center. Okay. Which is very Pilates. Which we love. And which we love. And very ballet. All right, let me try this. Okay. <laughs> World figure in fancy sport jacket, which people love, Karen. Yeah, that's good. Here, I'll hold it for you. Okay. <laughs> you can yell at me, that way you can see if I'm okay. squeezing the scapula enough, which is a problem area. It is. Yeah, it's gonna feel different, so don't worry about it. Not too much turnout. Not too much turnout for you. Bend the ankles and knees to the EA. Plie. Oh my goodness, that was 10,000 times better. Okay, now we're gonna complete the circle. Yes, you're gonna press on the. Yo, that's already better. Feel the outside edge. Okay, we gotta work on that. Yeah, that was not. Yeah, that's not yet. <laughs> I actually am gonna tell you, I need you to get to get this push better, you have to slow down to break in the mechanics. Okay. It's okay, but that was good though. Much better. Come on. The Karen, scapula. We want gorgeous I know, figures. The scapula okay. is better. Okay, go. Now slow down just a little bit so we can get that press into that center. You have to start doing the Paul Wiley. It's all good. Mantra. Yeah. Ten thousand ten hours, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the right, with the right, uh, how can I say focus? He was with Carlo Fox. Yes, and yes, yes. Adult skaters who were judges as parents. Okay. <laughs> All right, just get focused. Five minutes a day means everything too if you do something right. Bend, not too much. Turn out the back foot. Straighten the front foot this more. Uh huh. Bend the ankle. Almost. For you, you have to feel that because you twist your hips. Bend the ankles and knees. Don't slip on that back foot. Push solid. That's it. Now stay on the back of your spine more. Bend the ankle and knee. Ride the edge. Good. Now I want you to pretend you don't have a toe pick. You can't go anywhere near it. Only the blade. Push off the edge. All right, that was better. I don't like my posture. Yeah, that you gotta slow, you gotta calm down more. Push off the edge, only the edge. That's okay. I'm trying to slow it down and I missed it. How do I fix it? So what we're gonna do here, coming into the center, I'm gonna make you do a little uh, trick here. So let's say we have your, your speed. And because your now that you're giving me a better push, Karen, I know, I know. I've got more speed. I know, I know, but I want you to slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I want you to be able to stay here and hold, hold. 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 This is my favorite, hold. hold. I can just picture you in the lifts with your partner. Okay, and hold. <laughs> okay, no, here we go. I want you to be able to hit that balance. 
but you coach the pair. Like, Bend the you ankles and knees. <laughs> you were coaching, right? <laughs> Bend the ankles and knees. And bend, press. Okay, now purposely slow down. You're gonna use your toe pick purposely. Slow down, slow down. No, no, you have your foot flexed. I don't want your foot flexed. <laughs> okay, right. you come through. I want you to purposely slow down. Skid your toe pick. Slow down, slow down. Like, I don't know how to skid it. What, what, what you're gonna say. drag your toe pick. What, you're gonna drag your toe pick. How, how? I want you to, you're here. I, I want you to drag your toe pick to slow down. Okay. <laughs> Back up, you point your toe. I don't want to flex nearly that. Point your toe and you stay. Back. But it's not a deduction if we just drag well, our. It's only an exercise. I gotta get you to fix this. Listen, I don't want right. these judges coming on the black ice being like, he's skidded at that. Did you see that? We're not skidding it. We're purposely slowing down to be able to learn the push mechanics. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't want anyone coming for me. No. The black ice. That's right. Everything. Bend those ankles and knees. Set shoulder blades, chin. That was better. Your spine was better. Good. Okay, now purposely drag it just a little bit to get. I want slow, slow, slow. Bring the leg now. now keep so it there. there. Keep it there. Keep it there. You gotta stay balanced. You gotta do this. Fight for it. Fight. Yes, Dave. Way to go. <laughs> okay, way to go. Okay, slow down purposely. Drag your back toe. Drag it. Drag it. Drag it. Drag it. Let's see the mechanics. Oh, ten thousand times better. Now don't drag your toe and do the same thing. Keep the feeling, keep the press, feel the edge, feel the edge, feel the edge. Yes, better. There's a slight toe pick there that you didn't need because you didn't soften the ankle enough. You must soften the ankles. I felt like I was fighting that right Stay, shoulder. stay, stay. Soften the ankle. You gotta press more into the tongue on your skate okay. with the shin bone. Shin bone on the tongue on the skate. Stay, stay shin bone, start bending, start bending, tongue on the skate. But it slipped a little bit, like it slipped behind you. you gotta be solid. That's okay, keep it, stay on it, stay on it. Fight for it, fight for it, fight for it. This is actually a good speed, it's gonna force you to do it. Stay, 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 fight, fight, fight. Yo, somebody used some new muscle mechanics. Slow down, doesn't have to be Speedy Gonzalez. Gotta get the mechanics, bend an ankle, bend better but no toe pick you got to stay back more you only have a blade to push off not a toe pick only the blade only the blade only the blade no oh, you found a toe pick i don't like that one I'm trying. I'm trying. gotta sit back more i'm gonna get tape on those toe picks soon and edge only edge oh dave way to go moment of greatness lower the leg Squeeze your scapula. Stay, 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 stay. Edge, don't slip off of it, but it was still better. Squeeze your center, squeeze your core. Everything narrows into you. Stay, stay, stay. That one slipped a little bit. You gotta sit back more. Bend an ankle. Do it down, up, down, up in your knee. Down, down, up in the ankle. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yes, I like that one better. So you can do this little ankle and knee action. Down up and your ankle and knee. Down up, down up, pump it. Pump your standing leg. Pump, 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 pump. Feel the press. Slow it down. Pump, pump. Point your toe, please. Thank you. Edge. Yes, I'll take that one was actually better in mechanics at the beginning. The end part, I didn't, you gotta finesse it more. Roll through to the ball of the foot, not to the toe pick. Sit back, sit back, sit back. Roll, yeah, that was better, Dave. And the posture was king on that one. Yeah, I was getting mad at my posture after the pushes. I was getting disgusted with myself. There you go, scapula, bend, bend, bend. Yes, Dave, I'll take it. This has improved. All right, keep going. Bend the ankle, bend the ankle, knee, edge. Yes, uh, but uh, you know what? It's still better.